Hi, I have a cup of coffee, but it is too hot to drink right now. So I'm going to drink it in a bit. Let's buffer level. <laughs> yeah, so this is the final video of buffing levels. Yeah, I know. We're going to be buffing round one, monster dance off, and also the challenge in this video. Yeah, challenge is meant to just be kind of an extra thing. So first of all, round one here. All right, looks, uh, looks fairly straightforward. Very kind of forgettable level, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this first part, I don't wanna do another boring, just like, hey guys, it's buffed. I can copy this and then chuck that. That's way too evil. That actually has a pretty nice visual indicator with that little pulsing bit, right? Yeah, that has a really nice visual indicator. Okay, yeah. Um, immediately, I want to a late timing, like so. Not trying to make this impossible, but I, I do want it to be harder, of course. What if I put like a blue orb here and then chuck a spike there? So you have to time that through there and then maybe I can shift this down here so that you click that and then maybe go into another orb. All right, I like that. And then I can just make this a triple spike. Cool. Of course, jump orb deco. Can't forget the jump orb deco. It's off grid. Oh, what if I put a spike in an orb like that? What is wrong with you, bro? What is wrong with you? Put in your corner pieces. SMH. Ooh, I think if I shifted this over, you might be able to survive that. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cool. Okay. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that part. I think that works. I'm actually also going to go ahead and shift this down by a block as well, just so that's a little bit more centered on that. All right, ship part. What the hell am I doing for this? My first thought is just to kind of <laughs> make some tight gaps, you know? Ooh, I do like that. I do like that. Might be a little bit hard. Might be a little bit hard. Yeah, I think that's a little bit hard. I'll shift this up though, so you still have to like go super high. I'm just trying to fill in the space in the middle because there's a bit of a space in the middle. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. I like that. Okay, cool. I guess I could just like extend this structure down and then put like a couple spikes on them. I want you to go up a bit more though. I like the vertical movement of the ship here. I also shift this up and then have like some more ground spikes below maybe. I feel like that could be cool. Like that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I need to actually improve these designs a little bit and make them extend to the floor. Cool. I think that works. Oh, and that. And I could also put this guy up here and then put some spikes on it even. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, and then to just make sure that you can't skip this, I can just do something like this. Um, I might remove this and then just make this like a straight fly segment, but with like periodic spikes like that. So I'll copy paste this up to the top like so, and then maybe space it up a little bit, shift these spikes around. They're like a little bit more interesting. Yeah. And then maybe flip it over. I'll also grab a couple of these guys and chuck them in like that. I think those move down into the left. So that should be out of the way by the time I get there. Right. Okay, there's just a single block here. I might just add a couple more single blocks around the place just because, why not? Make it a little bit more difficult. Chuck a spike there so you can't get through there and then just like... And I think that's a lot of this part mostly done. I'll also put a couple spikes on this part like going up like this as well. These need to go on the inside. What the hell? What do I... What else do I have selected? Oh, I think that's pretty good. All right, nice. Give this a bit of a play test, shall we? See how it goes. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I like that. Now we move on to this part here. I'm tempted to just do like the billion orbs thing here as well. Maybe, oh, what if I make you mini and then you have to, yeah. So you go mini and then in order to like still survive, you have to hit like a billion different orbs. Yeah, I like that, honestly. Replace that with a red pad so you can actually make it up. I don't know if that'll be too much juice, but we'll see. Nah, no, it's perfect. I ha hang on, I have a bit of an idea. What if I put some half spikes here, right? And then put a dash orb that just points down this. Let's see if that works. That actually does. That actually works. Okay. I could probably even get away with these being full spikes and that would be like a good thumbnail photo. <laughs> Yeah, if you buffer it, you survive. So that's fine. Get rid of that jump orb and put a couple of blue orbs in here because why not? It's fun adding difficulty this way. Just having a bunch of orbs and stuff. There's something about it. I don't know. I like it. Chuck this guy here, but then put a yellow orb in the middle of it, maybe. <laughs> Make it so you have to late time that by adding a spike in here or two. If I add this orb in here. Oh, dude, I could do so much with this. Make it so you have to jump onto a little block here and then hit a black orb to go down. And then I'll add that in there and then put some J blocks because once again, I'm not that evil, all right? 
But of course, jump orb deco. This is going to be off grid, isn't it? Why? <laughs> yeah, that, that timing's possible, right? Surely. Yeah, that timing's definitely possible. Is that too evil? I want to say it's not too evil, but it might be. I'm going to shift all of these back a little bit. That's definitely not too evil. That's fine. Okay, and then I might make you big. God, I hate this background. I can't see the bloody grid lines. I might do that, so you have to jump over all of the different jump heads in this part. I think that would be kind of funny. <laughs> so I'll chuck like a spike there, so if you hit that, you- Oh, you died of that easily. I can shift that up a bunch then. Just considering there's like a bunch of jump heads here, I think that would be funny. Ooh, how do I make it so you jump over that? Just put like a red orb here. Yeah, I think that will work. <laughs> oh, almost. Wait. Yes, I can do the same thing with the pink orb again. Let's go! Yeah, that's fine. You know the buff that I'm doing, dude. You know what I'm doing here. All right. And I don't know what I could do for this, to be honest. I could just go with like the dash orb strat again. That's so doable. That so is. Okay. There's something so fun about doing jump orb deco. I don't know what it is. I love jump orb deco, bro. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's delete all the start pause and let's start going from zero then. Oh, I forgot I did this first jump. <laughs> I need to get rid of that pulsing object. That pulsing object is ugly as hell. Oh, what? My mouse like double clicked. Did you see that? My mouse totally just double clicked there. Bruh. Nice. Okay. Boom. Fluke from 36. I'll take that. <laughs> not super difficult, but you know what? That's fine. All right. And of course, I'm not going to upload this until the end of the video. All right. Let's do the final GD world level. That's right. The final one. Monster dance off. Oh yeah. We've got a wave to buff in this one. This is like kind of the coolest GD world level. I'm not going to lie. Actually, you know what? It's not. I always remember this being the coolest GD world level, but probably just because it had wave at the end. It's actually kind of mid, not going to lie. <laughs> All right. I think I could do some cool things with this. Let's uh, make a copy of this then. All right, cool. What if I just like... I like that. That's that's a decent buff. And then I can shift that down so it looks more intimidating, right? Do a dash orb type deal. Why is there a J block here, bro? <laughs> you don't even hit the J block. Tempted to put like an orb in that portal as well. So you're like... You hit that as well. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. And then I can shift that up and then put like a couple spikes there. And then what I can do is be a little bit evil and chuck this guy here. Okay. May as well make this hard, you know. It's the last level. And then I could put a black orb here where you like do do. Like that type of thing could be interesting. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'll put a small spike down there so you have to like... And if you try and miss that, there's no way you can make that. No. This is a very obvious buff. Very, very obvious. Oh, not that hard. Okay, and then what if over here... And then have that be a late timing, so you have to jump over that. Get rid of those J blocks, of course. Those stinky, stinky J blocks. They smell, dude. They smell. Yeah, I like that. I think that's decent. And chuck those there. Oh, that's a good timing. I like that timing, dude. Yeah, okay. Let's just get rid of those and let's add some sync orbs in here where you s they sync to the music. And then you jump there. So, like, I'll chuck that there. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of myself for coming up with that. Okay. And then I can chuck spikes there. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I love that. Oh, my God. Yes. I was not expecting something that cool to come out of that, but I am really glad that it has. So then I can chuck something like this here. I might even chuck a small chain in there and then put another one up the top here like that. Oh, that's so cool. I love that, dude. Uh, I'll do that so you have to go in between here, but I put a couple invisible blocks so you can't fall there. But I will be a little bit evil and put like a couple spikes there. And then I'll do the thing where I have like a, an orb in the spike again. And then I have an idea for this here, a robot portal. And then what I can do is put like half spikes here and then put them like all up here. How difficult is that? 
It's not too bad, but like there are timings there. I think that's cool. That's like creative. All right. You know what time it is? It's jump orb deco time. Nyan <laughs> cat. All right. I'd say that's pretty good. And then I'll shift. Whoops. I'll shift all of these up a little bit and then put like another spike down here or something. Just get rid of that pad entirely. <laughs> sure. Sure. Why not? And then I've got to make it so you can't go up here. Easy solution. <laughs> so now we're going into the wave part. Oh, this is so open. What the hell am I going to do here? Okay, so fun fact, uh, I spent 40 minutes on this wave part. <laughs> I don't know why I spent so long on it, but it was a little bit challenging. I started with this type of a spike formation with the half spike on the bottom and the full spike on the top. And I started with this little basic corridor just to make some very basic gameplay with it. And although this looks really tight, don't worry, I did end up nerfing it because it was a bit too tight. <laughs> And maybe what I can do to like indicate that you'll die if you go there is just by using some of these simple blocks and adding some shadow. Oh, I do kind of like that, but maybe a little bit less. Yeah, so I used the filler block for the 2.0 grass blocks and that made a pretty nice looking shadow. And then from there, I added some blocks below and made them invisible just so that you can't skip these spikes, right? And from there, I had basically the design I was going for done. So now it was just time to make some gameplay with it. I started with this beginning bit and actually made you mini wave. So I could have this little section that syncs with this song. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's so cool. And from there, I went back to the beginning and introduced this kind of a buff with these two really open gaps here. Just so that you get into the part and you know what to expect before being thrown into this. And then from there, honestly, it was just trying to add a bunch of spike structures around and create kind of an interesting wave path with them. I tried to go close to the edges of the level as well instead of just having spike bits in the middle. I thought that would be a little bit more interesting. I originally made this mini wave here and just tried to make a bunch of mini wave gameplay and I spent a long time trying my best to make this work. But in the end, it just kind of felt a bit jank and the whole corridor was way too narrow for a mini wave, realistically. So I decided to get rid of the mini wave portal and make it normal wave, but upside down instead. And so I adapted the gameplay that I already had to match that. All right, nice. I think that's pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some of these shadows. Now, you may notice these are a little bit above. These need to be like B4 behind literally everything. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so now it's time to add shadows behind everything. Woo! Yep, looks like all the shadows are in place. All right, nice. Cool. I, I think that's a part complete then, right? Let's hop into normal mode and let's give this a play. Now I think we're good. Let's go from zero. 21, okay, nice. I'm on a nerfing spree right now, dude. I'm on a nerfing spree. This last level should be really hard. Yeah, I made it impossible, dude. Rip, okay, that would have been a new best, but I can't be bothered to wait until I fly out of the world. <laughs> Oh, I forgot what to do there. Okay, 46. Nice. That's pretty good. I'd say this is definitely the hardest buffed level out of the GD World levels. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't played the other ones in a while, so maybe not. 85. Oh, bro. That was so close. few times there. Okay, nice. Hell yeah. Level complete. All right. Uh, 137 attempts. Yeah. All right, nice. Well, that is the two GD World levels buffed. I am also going to go ahead and buff the challenge because yeah, why not? It's the challenge. It's a classic. It's basically a GD World level. It was introduced in GD World. So, you know, and I have kind of a cool idea for this because as you know, it has quite a few. Oh, what I was going to say is, as you know, it's got quite a few skips. If you hit that like buffer that, you can kind of go over that. I want to use those to my advantage. Let's make a copy of this and let's start buffing then. Okay. <sighs> okay, so this first one, what I could do is you have to jump late onto that jump pad. Otherwise, you die to a spike. Yeah. I could do that there as well if I wanted. Oh, should I? 
maybe. That's cool. So that just creates some timings here without just like adding more spikes. I mean, it is adding more spikes, but like, you know. Okay, so I got to incorporate these skips somehow. I think first of all, uh, onto this platform here so you can't land on it. So you have to go over it. I think that works. Okay, you can just jump over that apparently. Oh no, dude. I'm actually just gonna straight up add another pad there. And then you have to hit that dash orb early so that you can go over that, yeah. You can't make it up there from a yellow warp, can you? You can, aha, uh -huh. okay. And then what I'll do is rotate this a little bit down and then you'll go into a gap in the wall. Yeah, like that. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Now, how do I stop you from using these pink orbs? I'm not sure. I mean, I could just put like an invisible sword blade there and that should do the trick. What if I do like, uh, 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 or something? Just so that you can definitely not hit that, right? That's pretty good, yeah. All right, um, now I gotta actually fill this in. I think if I use these blocks here, those have a hitbox here, so I can't do that. I'll use this one instead and then set it to, I guess one is black. And then I can add in some of these right here, like that. Okay, what does that look like in normal mode? Is that too, like, impossible? Okay, yeah, you can see that. You can see that. That's fine. Okay. And then maybe I can put like a few blue orbs here. Have them like half spaced down like that. And then you just hit like that one or something and then go up. That's very consistent, actually. That's more consistent than I thought it would be. I'm going to continue this theme of these invisible swords. I do like them. And then I'll add another orb up there. So you like, boom, like that. Yeah, perfect. What if I, oh, I've just had an idea. What if I allow multi-activate on that? What happens if I double click that? Because there's no way you can't make that yellow orb, right? Oh, I do really want to do it, dude. This is this is the challenge. It's meant to be challenging, right? And then have this, but then make it so you have to jump up there or something. This is just a full-on memory level. I'm going to be completely honest with you, dude. So you think you need to do that, right? But no, what you actually got to do is like that. Oh, it's a blind jump, but you can just hold it out of that blue orb. So I don't think it's that evil. But I'll add a bunch of these spikes here. And then you got to hit this orb and that'll like put you there or something. I'm going to get rid of that so you fall down there and then maybe like... Oh, you could also get away with that. Yeah, that works. I do like that. So I can put another spike there. So if you fall, you die. But if you go like that, then you survive. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> If you click there, then you actually end up up here. I really like that. I'm going to try and keep that in, dude. I worry it's a little bit too, like, you wouldn't be able to tell what you need to do. But I, I don't know. I think it's all right. Okay, and then a couple spikes along here. Then just take advantage of this skip. Why not? Just ba 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 like that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to copy paste one of these bad boys over here. And just wah, wah, like that. So you have to click those lay. Do I do the obvious there? Yeah, see, that is like, that part is difficult, but it's not as hard as it seems, right? I could nerf this just by sticking those into the wall a little bit. Because I don't want this to be impossible, right? I don't want it to be stupidly hard. That would be a bit of a choke point otherwise, you know? Don't crash game. Oh, no, I just didn't click the button. <laughs> I was getting worried my game was going to crash, dude. I just forgot to click the button. All right, I'd call that just about good up until this point here. I'm hitting the roof, bro. Perfect. Yeah, so you can do that and survive. I do like that. I might leave that timing. I'll put a blue orb here or something. Yeah, okay. I could just make this impossible by adding another spike down here or something. Off-grid spike might I add, but it's fine. What if I do like one, two, three, four? <laughs> I'll leave it like that, how about? And then maybe you have to click that orb. <laughs> what the hell was that? I really want to do like a, you know, conical depression. <laughs> really tempted to do that. I wonder if I could get away. Let me just like do a test here. The gaps in the orbs makes it hard. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's doable. And then I could even add some spikes under here. And what I'll do is I'll select every other one of these and then make them invisible like that. All right, I think that's pretty good. So like these, one, two. And then I'll just like, no secret ways for you. Just to make absolute sure you can't skip that, dude. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything I want to do for like this part here. Because that's like already a pretty difficult timing, right? You know what I could do? Oh no, does this not have any monsters? It does. Aha. Just to add a bit of extra difficulty because because why not? All right, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and let's delete all the start pause and let's go from zero. I don't think this will take me too long, but let's see. Oh, I forgot how to do that. You got to like land on the bottom before you hit that blue orb. I clicked that too late. God damn it. <laughs> slowly making progress. Very slowly. But we are. We are. Oh, I forgot what you do there for a second. I got to double click that. That's right. Oh my God. Why did I put a double click in this? Oh my God. That is so evil, but I love it. That is also really, really evil. No, I'm too high. No, I'm not! Oh, that... 
I was so close to dying there, but I managed to survive that as well. All right, nice. Yeah, that didn't take me too long at all. 81 attempts. I mean, yeah. Oh, that actually fits. Oh, that only just fits. Okay, awesome. Well, that is the challenge buffed as well. So let's go ahead and upload all of these real quick then. And share level. All right, cool. That is all three of the levels up on the servers. Here are the IDs on screen now if you want to give them a go. And uh, yeah, boom. That is all of the GD world levels buffed every single one. In two days from now, I should have a video up on the channel showcasing every single buffed level that we've done in this series. There have been three other parts, so if you've enjoyed this and you haven't seen them, go check them out. I have a playlist on my channel. And uh, yeah, I think that is going to be just about it for the GD world buffing videos. This was a fun series. It did get a little bit stale towards the end because like, I mean, of course it would. But overall, I'd say I definitely had a really, really good time with it. Anyway, I'm going to end this video off here. Thank you so much for watching. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Big thank you to all the members on screen now for supporting the channel, but especially Mary Trujillo and Crazy. I hope I got that right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you later.